Hi guys, this is Maya once again from Josotech and in this particular session I will be taking you through how to use the extract by location option in QGIS. So I have data showing schools in Lagos State. Now I want to use the extract by location option to actually extract the schools in a particular local government and probably road network too. So do you know how I'm gonna do that? Just stay tuned. So here you have um, data surrounding school, road, and building in, um, in Lagos State. So you have um, the whole of Lagos State. Then you can see the schools, the road network, and then some um, areas that you have building. Some of the problems that you have um, building footprint. So there are some situations that uh, you might source this data from somewhere or online or a website but um, they give you the full data of Lagos State or you yourself are interested in just one local government in Lagos State so let's assume you are interested in Etiosa and they want to um, produce a map showing the road network and the schools in the, the, the uh, buildings may not be that important because we are never going to show you so you may say, oh, I want to put this map showing the schools in a uh, Etiosa local government, this is this area, so, and the road network. So what you need to do, what you need to extract the um, local government itself from the rest of the um, local government you have in Lagos State. Then from there, after having the Etiosa as a separate um, vector layer, then from there you can extract both um, the schools and the um, Road network. So let's go. So the first thing is to extract the Etios so local government itself. So you can just right click on the vector layer showing the Lagos states here. Then you can go to open attribute table. Then under the edge name, search for or navigate to Etios, select it. So here it's telling us on the map that it is selected. Now we can save the selected features like we've done in one of our previous videos. So the selected and the separate vector layer. So you right click on the layer, Lagos layer, export. So it's going to be export selected features. So you selected the tail size, so you can save it to your folder. So here yeah, I'm going to say it's your size. L G A. Uh oh. It's your size. L G A. So I save that. So it's in WGS 4 Open the special consultant. So okay. So you see, we now have that as a separate um, vector layer on its own. So we can actually deselect this. So you can see, you don't have the other 19 local governments. We have the just a local government. So I can make this transparent. Uh, I need to do transparency. Okay, and please let me just uh, apply. Okay, so you can see our area of interest is the tier so we can we have the area as a vector layer. So now let's try and extract the um, schools and road network. So, yeah, you're under the processing two boards, you can search for extract. So, when you click on extract, it gives you different um, options. We have a strat layer extend, a strat layer extend, a strat selected features, you see, a strat shape file encoding. So, what I'm interested here is extract by location. Extract by location. So, when I select this, it's going to pop up this window. So, here, what features am I extracting? First, let's extract the school. school. Then, um, schools within within so this will be the um the parameter schools within um it's your side local government is already so run you can see so it has actually highlighted the schools within it's your side local government so with this icon it means this layer is taken prior so we need to save it as a separate vector layer too so let's go to the spot save features so I'm going to save it as um, Etiosa, Etiosa Schools. Uh -oh. 
close save then your projection that is just oh, okay you can see so can i move this one remove okay start selected the screw so you can even uh, deselect the screw from the layer panel too now what next is really like to still go back and use the extract by location too so we are interested in our road you can use a within it's just uh, LGA wrong. Now you can see it has highlighted. So let me let me deselect the green uh, layer. See, you can see it has um, highlighted the road that found within the um, local government of interest. But if you zoom in the map, some roads were disjointed along the way. Some are not even complete. So it is good to um, explore other options too. So most times I use intercept because intercept is going to cover all the road inside that particular um, area and also extend the bit outside the boundary specified. So let me go back again, road, then um, it is LG wrong. We are going to see the difference here. So now you can see, like I said, so. So this is, this is the option of um, intersection. So let me deselect it. So this is what I'm saying. This was the first option we used within. So meaning, you see, we didn't actually meet at the boundary line. So you might want something that is more um, complete and so. So that's why I use the intersect tool. But the only work you have to do is now you have to select each of this line, this line. And you can even select all the features. Then rather they use a tool called split features to split these um, lines that you have this road that actually is turning out of the boundary to split them and then um, delete them. So let me quickly show you what I'm trying to say. So now let me save this as good first as a separate road network. So it's just a road. It's just a road. Save. Projection WGS OK. So we can actually remove this. Remove this one. So this way we can uh, extract the building features to have a building footprint in the area of interest that if we want that information at all. So this is what I'm saying now. Let's align this feature and start editing. So I like this one and start editing. So you can use this select tool. So this here you have the select um, tool on the toolbar. So you can select each of the road, but that might, might take time. So what I do is select all the road. Why is the road selected? Because it is the layer I actually activated, highlighted here. So what I do is I use this split features tool. Then I just after selecting that tool, I just go through the boundary line to actually delete. To cut or don't put it that way, those um, lines that extend from the word boundary. So I go this way, I go this way. So we need to zoom in. So that's what I do most times. Okay, see? So meaning I can, uh, I can come this way now. Okay. We have some here, so you can select this. So you can just go to this line to cut those ones that actually extend from the boundary. So it can be it can be dirty tax sometimes. So I think that's all for now. Okay, let's just assume that's all. So you just right click. So that way you've actually um, select this one that actually um, the out of the boundary. Area. So you can come here, use your select tool. So now you start deleting them one by one. So you select them, see? Select them and delete, select and delete. So that's how you use your split tool, see? Select, so I'm selecting them using the delete um, button on my keyboard. 
so that way you will be able to watch the start pictures from your um from a, a large data set to focus on your area of interest so guys guys that's which is your instruction too and that can be handy or you have a large data set and you need a uh, your specific to an area of um of, uh, of focus or area of interest so see you guys later So that's all I have for you today on um, KGI. So you can see that the extract by location tool is um, actually important in extracting area of interest in your data. So we'll be able to extract the road network, the schools in Lagos Island. So don't forget to make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educative videos. And if you have questions, please use the comment section. See you guys later. Thank you.